All right, so we had a request for glute activation, which is a really good topic, obviously. Uh, the glute being the biggest muscle of the body, that's where we're gonna get a lot of our power, uh, definitely from driving up and through. So as that energy is created, it's stored in here. And then as we go unleash that kinematic sequence, all that energy, as long as we've got that pure swing, is all gonna be transferred. So we're gonna start really simple. And what we're gonna do is from here, we're gonna to try to squeeze just one butt cheek. That's gonna be that glute. And all you wanna do is try to go side to side and have that squeeze. Now, what you wanna to try to avoid is as you're squeezing, if you feel this hamstring get tight, that's not what we're looking for. It should just be down and through here. So each time that we're progressing on, if you're lacking in one area, spend time in that area until you get it good and then we can progress. So let's say that we've mastered this and we're ready to move on. What we'll do is we're gonna go from here and I want you to, with both legs under, go straight up and then we're back down, okay? Again, we're trying to squeeze as we come up, shouldn't feel anything down into those hamstrings and up. What we'll do next, make it a little harder, is we're gonna extend one leg. We're gonna go up and squeeze, trying to keep the hips nice and stable, going up nice and high. We obviously are gonna switch legs. Now, to add in a little stability here, what we'll do is we wanna go from here, brace the abs, and I wanna take one leg, and I wanna to try to extend it down and out while squeezing that glute. Pretty simple. Here's the thing. Imagine that we have our hands under here. You can even put them under there. As we drop down, you'll see that I'm not wanting to favor and go either which way. So there's not added pressure. I'm not removing pressure. We're gonna brace, keep this nice and still, work that leg independently, squeeze, and go back, okay? So bear with me on this next one. What we're gonna do to try to add a little bit more strength into the glutes once we know that they're firing, um, which everybody's gonna want to do, but again, we've gotta progress up to it, is we'll do a couple things standing. So the very first one we can do is we can go from here and we can sort of drop down whatever you feel comfortable with. And you'll see that as I'm going down, this leg's gonna kick out. I'm loading into this glute knee a little bit, posting up into that hip, and now I'm coming back up. Okay, so we can do that. The other thing that we can progress into, may take you a little bit of time to get better at, is we can go down and do our pistol squat. We wanna to try to go as low as you can, but again, try and sit and put everything into that butt, come up and squeeze. So it'll definitely help you add strength. We could probably spend 30, 40 minutes covering all this for sure. Uh, we can go in and start doing loaded squats definitely go in and do a bunch of plyometrics. But the key here is to make sure that everything is firing, working the way we want to independently, we're not recruiting other muscles, progress on and try to build strength and power from there. Thanks.